Election day is officially here. We begin with a live look from Washington as our nation heads to the polls voting for our next president. And I'm live in Lee County. As people are heading out to vote, I have everything you need to know before heading out the door. Election day, food, freebies, and discounts. Some places and things you can do today after you vote. Food distributions happening all across Collier County this week. Coming up, I'll tell you where you can get a meal. Live, the news you count on, NBC2, News at 11. Happy Election Day. Good morning, everyone. I'm Christina Mendez. And I'm Nate Foy alongside our first alert meteorologist, Rob Duns. If you are heading to the polls today to vote, you have some gorgeous weather to do it, but you may want to wear a coat, Rob. <laughs> yeah, it's chilly outdoors, it you know, for us uh, who are acclimated to southwest Florida weather. Throughout the whole day today, conditions is looking cool and breezy. Right now, we're only at 74, and this afternoon, our high temperatures, look at that, only going up to about 79 degrees this afternoon. So it's going to be a cool one for South Florida State standards here early in the month of November. Let's take a live look outdoors then at the stars and stripes and that flag is going to get a workout today as that breezy northeast wind continues all afternoon. You'll notice that right now wind speeds are anywhere from 14 miles an hour in Punta Gorda to 17 miles an hour in Bonita Springs and this stays with us for the rest of the day today. When I come back in just a few minutes, we'll touch base on what rain opportunities look like for the rest of Election Day Tuesday and there's a lot going on in the tropics. What you should know about Hurricane Ada coming up in just a few minutes. Rob, we'll talk to you then. NBC2 is your decision 2020 headquarters. We have everything that you need to know. Yeah, the polls are open right now. There are some lines and some issues are being reported in Lee County. NBC2's Edna Ruiz joins us from Lee County at a precinct on Iona Road. Edna, what do we need to know? Well, Nate, this morning the Lake County Elections Office has confirmed with us that they're investigating an issue with the ballot and a ballot page, excuse me, not being read by the tabulator at several precincts. Now the Elections Office says that they are working on it. Poll workers really won't confirm either where, which precincts the, these uh, issues are happening at. But I'm here at this location on Iona Road and so far voters tell me that you know everything seems to be going fine that there isn't a line here as you can see that right there that they are just going in and out the door in less than five minutes now we have been at other precincts this morning we were at one in Cape Coral at the elections uh, office branch office there excuse me where we did see a long line before the doors even opened, but they moved quickly and once the doors opened so they were able to go in and out cast their ballots if you are coming out to vote today, make sure you're going to your assigned precinct. Also make sure that you have your ID and a mask with you. People we spoke to this morning tell us that they've been looking forward to this day for a very long time. Um, well, it's my civic duty and I'm just excited to vote. I didn't want to do the early voting because I wanted to be here on Election Day along with everybody from Cape Coral to vote. Polls are closing at 7 tonight. Of course, count on NBC2 to bring you those election results as soon as we get them. I'm live in Lee County, Edna Ruiz, NBC2. Edna, thank you. The CDC confirms people recovering from COVID-19 or those who may have been exposed to the virus can still vote in person. The agency says if you're one of those people, follow the standard advice. Go ahead, put on a mask, stay six feet away from others, and go ahead and sanitize your hands. The CDC also suggests let, letting poll workers know you're sick or in quarantine for exposure when you get there. Remember, if you received your ballot in the mail, the deadline to return it in person is 7 o'clock tonight. You can't return it to any ballot location. Instead, it needs to be an elections office. And as Edna mentioned, be sure to check your precinct because polling locations may be different than you're used to. In Lee County, for example, several sites have been moved. Anybody voting in precinct 108 must do so at the Lee County Elections Office in Cape Coral. NBC2 has a full list of every polling site change on our NBC2 News app. Just click on news links. Today, you're deciding a lot of big races. Obviously, the biggest one, the presidency. But locally, some big names are leaving their offices. Fort Myers Mayor Randy Henderson is not seeking another term after serving 20 years. State Representative Heather Fitzenhagen is out after eight years. Her Fort Myers office is closing today. And Congressman Francis Rooney is finishing up his second term in office. Count on NBC2 to let you know who takes over all of those seats. 
New into the NBC2 Alert Center in the last hour, the first lady voting in Florida. Let's look at Twitter. A new video here of Melania Trump. There she is, the first lady arriving at her voting precinct just before 10 this morning. She waved at the cameras when she walked into this rec center here at Palm Beach. President Trump voted last week at an early voting site. She was inside for about 10 minutes, briefly talking to reporters when she left the site with 29 electoral votes. Florida, we all know, critical for both candidates. I track breaking news and monitor social media every day here in the NBC2 Alert Center. It's been all hands on deck for election security officials. A U.S. official says U.S. Cyber Command is expanding their operation to try to identify Russian, Iranian and Chinese hackers. They believe those countries want to influence this year's election results. Officials are confident, though, that the vote counting and certification systems, those are secure. Still, the national security community is on high alert. Well, today after you cast your ballot, you can treat yourself to some election day deals. There's so many to choose from, but here are just a couple we'll mention at 11. That's a list right here of all the free food and discounts available right after you vote today. Subway My Way Rewards members have an offer for buy one, get one for free any foot long sub. Also, for a limited time, get a free foot long when you purchase two things on the app or on their website at participating locations. This deal here continues until tomorrow. At Wendy's, you can get a free classic chicken sandwich with any purchase and offer on its app. The sandwich usually costs $4.99. The deal runs through November 8th. Krispy Kreme is giving you a free glazed donut with your special voting sticker while supplies last out there. McDonald's is giving away apple fritters, blueberry muffins, and cinnamon rolls through its app. This is happening through November 9th. And DoorDash has free delivery in all orders over $15 with the promo code VOTE. For DoorDash Pass subscribers that already have zero delivery fees on orders over 12 bucks, DoorDash is providing 10% off orders with code DPVOTE. PF Chang's is offering 10 bucks off for new Grubhub customers. You can also get deals on Grubhub at 7-Eleven, Burger King, and California Pizza Kitchen. Hey, and if you need to get to the polls, you can get 50% off round trip rides to the polls, up to seven bucks each way or up to 14 bucks for total two trips with Uber. Or get 50% off one ride up to $10 today at any polling location using the code 2020 vote with Lyft. If you need a car to go vote, Hertz is giving you one free day of a rental. The program is called Drive the Vote. So if you rent a car for two or more days, you'll get one day on the house. This isn't the first time that Hertz has offered free rides for a good cause. When the pandemic first started, it provided $2 million worth of free rentals to healthcare workers in New York City. And starting today, Wawa kicks off free coffee Tuesdays. This will be held every Tuesday this month through December for Wawa Rewards members. New members need to register by 8 tonight to get this deal. Several businesses across the country are closed today, so employees can go vote. This includes J. Crew, Patagonia, and Ben & Jerry's. Uh, here at home, actually, Chico's headquarters is closed. The actual Chico stores are not closing, but there will be no meetings at its Fort Myers headquarters today. All employees are offered shorter shifts, so they have time to head to the polls. NBC News will air special decision 2020 election coverage tonight starting at 7. Lester Holt, Savannah Guthrie, Chuck Todd and Andrea Mitchell lead NBC News primetime coverage. So before that, the candidates will make a few last minute visits. President Trump says he may go to his campaign headquarters in Virginia today. And Democratic candidate Joe Biden now in Scranton, Pennsylvania. And Christina, something happening right now. Philadelphia, the canvassing board is meeting and they're already looking at those ballots. I want to show you a live look right now. INET 5, let's head in there uh, right on the ground and see these people working. This is the Philadelphia Convention Center. This became the center of all election activity for the area starting at 6 this morning. You can see there dozens of people, volunteers, busy opening up those envelopes and preparing them for processing and counting. They have to take them out. Uh, put them in certain stacks if there's a signature, if there's not a signature, a very tedious prod, uh, process. You can see uh, supervisors walking around there uh, monitoring and answering any questions. Pennsylvania, by the way, Pennsylvanians, I should say, requested more than 3 million absentee ballots for this general election. They returned more than 2 million 
as of Friday. So it's a busy day all over the country. I'm going to give you a live look uh, when my feeds change on this election day. Nate. All right, Stacy. thank you very much. More election day coverage to come. But first, NBC2 is digging for today's COVID-19 case numbers. Look at this. On Monday, the state health department reported over 4,600 new infections in our state. You can see 280 of those came from Southwest Florida. The state also reported 46 new COVID related deaths. Today, there's a new mobile testing site in Immokalee. Testing is free and you don't need a doctor's referral. It's happening at the Tony Rosbo Little League Park. That's from 3 to 7 tonight. You must wear a mask if you go. The pandemic continues impacting food on the table. If you need help feeding your family, St. Matthew's House is here to help you. NBC2's Nicolette Perdomo is at Fairway Bible Church in Naples explaining everything that you need to know. In just a few hours, people will be lining up here to get meals. The best thing about it, they don't even have to get out of their car. They'll just pull up, leave their trunks open, and volunteers will fill their car with plenty of food. Now, it's happening in just a few hours. Many of those hurt by the pandemic will be lining up in their cars. It's Hunger and Homeless Awareness Month, and St. Matthew's House is holding three distributions this week. Today's happening here at Fairway Bible Church in Naples. Last week, more than 3,000 people getting meals, and organizers are expecting those numbers to increase this winter. Now, the distribution starts at 1 this afternoon and will go until 3 p.m. or until food runs out. I'm in Collier County, Nicolette Perdomo, NBC2. Happening right now, Harry Chapin Food Bank is giving away some food. You can go to the Boys and Girls Club in Immokalee or Copperhead Golf Club in Naples. The mobile food pantries are happening until noon. Lee Health is having a mobile blood drive soon. It's happening at the foundation for Lee County Public Schools in Fort Myers. You'll see a bus in the parking lot at the back of the building off Jackson Street. Appointments are every half hour from noon until 5 p.m. Right now, NBC2 is all over breaking news. Witnesses say they heard some gunshots last night in Moorhaven. We just got off the phone with the sheriff's office. They say they will give us some new information soon. Right now, they're only calling this an active investigation. This video that you're watching with me here was taken on Avenue F and 5th Street. Stay with NBC2 for updates. 1112 on top of the president. There are several amendments that you're voting for today. Next, what you need to know to understand what you're voting for. Plus, pushing to the polls online and on air. Next, a breakdown of political ads. And live Doppler radar very quiet over neighborhoods in Fort Myers and Cape Coral. We'll take a look at how long that continues in the seven-day forecast in just a few minutes.